Question coming in from NBA fan. What do you think accounts for the disparity in terms of results between high-ranking DNs from Ohio versus nationwide? Ohio top 35, cites a few players there, and then not Ohio, national players citing two of the best. Zach I'll Harrison, just, five star. I mean, Zach yeah. Harrison was like a top 15 kid nationally. So, yeah, this, yeah, this is a ranking post college to a certain extent, which wow. isn't necessarily fair. Well, I would say going into college, it's the fact, I mean, those guys have spring football and that helps your development. I mean, we can't poo poo that, you know, much to say that Florida and, and Texas, they have spring drills, they have on the field working on stuff year round. Whereas in Ohio, you know, the track lobby and the baseball lobby don't want that. So, uh, the basketball coaches don't want that. So it, it, football has to play nice with all these other sports here in Ohio, whereas in Texas and Florida, it's the only sport that matters. So, uh, and, and there's such a di diversification or a specialization that kids don't play more than one sport in some of those states. They, they play their sport and that's it. So, I mean, the baseball kids and the football kids in Florida rarely do the two meet. So, you know, it, it is um, a, a, a combination of things, but I think that helps explain. And again, some of the rankings are also regionally biased because most of these uh, networks are based in SEC territory. Uh, I know 24-7 is based in Nashville. And if there's an 11 on 11 or a, you know, stupid camp in mid-February in Florida, they're more apt to be at that than they are to, Trapes up here to best of the Midwest in Indianapolis or wherever, Detroit or wherever else. So uh, there is some regional bias to the rankings and those kind of things. As far as coming out of college, you're ranked on production. I mean, I mean, Bosa and Chase were ranked really high because they produced. If that's what this is about, Zach and these other guys aren't because they really haven't produced to the same level. I mean, I, I, what it looks like to me, I don't know. Well, I think the the thing is, the way I read it is, why aren't the Ohio guys as good as the Boses and Chase Young? And don't compare those guys to other. I mean, these are the Boses and Chase Young are three of, yeah, they're not they're not geographical either. Use other guys to talk about why the geography of defensive ends producing at Ohio State, like Tyler Fridays from New Jersey, Javante Jean Baptiste is from New Jersey. Use other guys. Don't we have to stop using Nick Bosa's and Chase Young as why aren't, why aren't they there? Because those three are generational and rare and you're always going to be set up for failure. If you start, if that's your baseline, you are, you're never going to be happy. Uh, so you have to eliminate those three guys, put other names in there and then see how Ohio, the Ohio defensive ends at Ohio state, Com compare to other states' defensive ends that go to Ohio State if that's what you're looking to compare. And, and then I think you'll find that things are just fine. Uh, it's just once you start comparing to Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, and Chase Young, everybody's going to come up short. And it's not a matter of there was something in the water or whatever. Everything is up to each individual kid. It doesn't matter where he calls home or anything like that. It's just, you know – the opportunity each kid has, I mean, what he's able to do, whether or not he's able to avoid injuries. I mean, certainly Jonathan Cooper dealt with injuries. We've, we've seen, you know, there, there are, are so many factors there and we just want to be able to put everything in, into baskets neatly and say, okay, well, these kids were this and these kids were that. And, you know, I don't, I don't think that you can absolutely do that. That's just not how it works. These aren't, you know, these aren't, uh, characters on NC2A 2023 or anything like that whenever that game drops. So, um, and it, you are talking about generational players uh, with the Boses and with, with, with Chase Young, and you're just not going to be able to ever, you know, live up to that. So, you know, we're, we're in a situation of where like a quarterback, we sit there and we see, Dwayne Haskins, and he puts up these huge numbers, and he gets followed up by Justin Fields, who puts up even bigger numbers. And then you get C.J. Stroud, and so far through a year, he puts up even bigger numbers. So, you know, there's this belief on seeing just things build off of itself, that that's going to be the case at every position. That's just not how it's going to be.